Turn your book into a bestseller. Author Enterprise helps authors create, publish, and promote. We are a publishing partnership company that is designed to give you total control over your publishing process. To learn more visit www.authorenterprise.com or visit our social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. In this video we are going to cover dozens of promotional ideas. We are also going to go over a lot of concepts that are related to book marketing. When an author spends months, sometimes years, to finish a manuscript, it is important to understand that is just the beginning. This video assumes you have already inundated yourself with our other videos of pre-launch, goal setting, marketing campaigns, media and publishing kits, as well as, the developmental approach to completing the actual product. This video may be overwhelming, but we have tried to come up with a variety of sweat equity publicity, so that you can reap the rewards of your hard work. Author Enterprise does not publicize authors. We work one-on-one -on -one in an author partnership to encourage your success, based on 15-plus years of extensive best-selling experience. Let's get started. The very first thing you need to understand is that there are two types of marketing. Most people call publicity marketing. For the purposes of this video, we will identify marketing as the documents, supporting ads, photos, questionnaire, and posters that support the publicity process. Promotion is action we use to describe using the tools to the benefit of potential sales. One creates the interest, and the other sells the work. Branding is coming up with a simple 60 second or less sell about your product. It should include a photo, preferably of you, a logo, and a simple tagline. This breeds familiarity. This will become the very substance your readers will identify you through. Branding is a huge business. Do not be easily fooled by those who promise to provide this service for you because they charge way too much money to get the job done. You can come up with a slogan because you, and only you, know exactly what your identity is and what you want the world to know about you. A branding strategy can create fun awareness. One example might be purchasing coffee cups with logos and sending them as holiday gifts. You will want to utilize strategy to increase results and lower costs. Cultivating friends with pertinent gifts from your branding merchandise will help. Delivering a poster to your local library might be another. Reputation is key. Always be kind, always be ready to speak your tagline, and always be absolutely sure about what you want the world to know about your identity. Before Taylor Swift decided politics was more important than her career, no other pop or country star could touch the number of recorded sales from her illustrious career. She was a branding phenomenon. Reputation is everything. Unless you write political books, refrain. Keep everything on your social media positive. That's our best pro tip. When you decide the time is now to promote your work, please take inventory of your emotions and your mindfulness. Make sure before you post anything, you are in the right state of mind for business. You need to think of your book as a business. The fact is that two years of countless hours of study, research, and writing will produce, if you are lucky, nearly $2 per book. You will have to do a lot of promotion to obtain a sizable profit from your efforts. A mass spherical strategy is key to your success. When you consider the book as part of your identity, you will be more likely to develop an online impeccable reputation. Platforms that can help authors are ever-growing. Add MeWe to your standard social media and you get another opportunity. That is the way that you need to look at your social media. 
If you want a friend, reach out in text or call. Keep social media as a way to represent you in a non-emotional, professional light. Keep it above reproach. Other author platforms included news, radio, TV, and national media like podcasts or community projects. Some platforms can be web-based for sharing or guest posting. The best platform is your sphere of influence, which we will get into. Industry-related platforms such as websites that have to do with book selling. Of course, your family, friends and acquaintances. Try to come up with innovative ideas and unique opportunities on your own, as well as incorporating some of ours. Again, social media platforms are extensive. There are more and more innovative ways to connect online than ever before. For authors, we recommend Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn, because all three of those social media platforms have the biggest volume of other users. However, several authors have used apps like Snapchat and Pinterest. No matter what social media you use, make your daily one or two hours meaningful by posting a lot of positive content. Do your research on pay-for-click advertising. Statistically, unless you have a top-notch campaign, you will spend more money promoting your product than you will see revenue. Our pro tip is to use these platforms to establish and cultivate organic relationships. When you establish industry relationships, it does one of two things. The investment connects you to like-minded individuals who share your same interests. You are bound to find lifelong connections. Secondary to that is that they will support and encourage you as much as you include and promote them. The old adage that sharing is caring goes a long way. You will want to connect with your area's booksellers. Research local conferences and workshops in your area. Develop relationships with literary professionals like agents, editors, illustrators, and anyone else who can benefit your sales. Follow other authors and promote them. Keep a record and then do the unthinkable. Ask them to promote you in return. People are benevolent and if you ask for help, someone will usually provide it. Join book clubs, try and get on the radio, on TV, on podcasts, and most of all, network within the industry every chance you can get. When you build a marketing campaign, you must understand what needs to be in it. We have an entire video on how to develop a marketing campaign. I would suggest you thoroughly review that before creating your own. On your campaign you want to cover every aspect of what you intend to do. That means a budget will be required. Time you expect to put towards it will need to be included. Every detail of your life as you see it, post-production of your book. When your work is ready to market, it takes a lot of thought as to what to select to do that best fits your personality. Here's a list of some ideas I put together that might help, ideas, such as creating a hook or giveaways, to podcast tours. Some of these are overwhelming to think about. Book sales takes action. There are some passive ideas, as well as, actionable ideas. Schedule your social media instead of posting daily might work to free up time for other ideas. Create a book signing tour, including hotel and travel costs. Maybe create a book trailer. Whatever you decide to do, make sure that it is listed on your campaign. Press release pro tips. Simply writing a book is not news. What makes it news is what makes it noteworthy. Create a shocking or captivating story about the book or the author. Make the book a fascinating topic. Send your book off for awards and claim those on your marketing materials. Give your readers impressive milestones. Think unconventionally but do not reinvent the wheel. Do research of other successful author press releases. See if you can come up with an endorsement from someone public. Create the buzz with buzz words like millennial. 
Any other hot topic that might be applicable to your book should be included. What makes a great press release is eight elements. 1. Less than 200 words. 2. Optional, but sentence length. 3. Location and date. 4. Attention-grabbing content. 5. Must be weighty. 6. Emphasis on, mini. 7. Similar to the author bio. 8. Include links to your sites, including social media. 9. It's essential to end on a call to action. 10. Include hashtags where needed. To get yourself ready for the press, there are steps that you can do to help you. One is to create a media kit. We will go over what is required for a media kit, but if you need further assistance on creating each entity, we have an how to create a media kit video for you. You will want to include any samples of articles, blogs, quips, awards, or pertinent information regarding your book. You will want a photo, preferably a large photo of your book and of you. You will want an entire one-sheet biography that tells the interviewer about your past, your present, and why you are qualified to write the book you did. A one-sheet lists a brief description of the book, a picture of you, and the book, and gives all your social media and online presence. We also have a video to help you create yours. Then there is an author questionnaire. This is 25 or so questions that an interviewer might ask you. This is important because you want to direct the conversation to the facts you want represented about your reputation. It will keep the interview off of sensational topics and add more credibility to your work as you will be profoundly prepared. Keep the list of answers to yourself. Have a stack of your book ready to sign. Then put everything in what we call a go box with swag. That means trinkets or marketing materials that you will want to give away. Make sure you purchase in bulk and that it is cost-effective to give away. This go box will be stored in whatever car you travel in, so that if you meet anyone along your journey, who might be able to promote you, what you need is ready and available. One of the most successful things you can do for your book is create a book launch campaign. The most important part of the campaign should be the year, six months and three months process of what we call the pre-launch. You will want to create a landing page where customers can click on what your book is about and how to purchase it. You should also have next event information. Order at least 100 copies of your book. Keep the copies handy. Sign them in advance, in case you ever need to present one. Get an Amazon Author Central page, a B and N Author page, and a Goodreads Author page. You will want to do iTunes Connect for iBooks. You will want to create websites, blogs, and research any website that might be beneficial to join, as long as it is applicable to your book. Pre-write emails, you will want to send out announcing the release of your book. Schedule social posts to do the same. Research ways to promote such as funnel clicks to see if they are in your budget. The initial states of preparation is key to your success. When you set up a book signing, there is an art to creating buzz. Now that you have done all your launch and prep work, it's time to create the buzz about the signing. You will want books, a poster, swag giveaways, and handouts if someone does not purchase your book. Create a reason for the to visit your site. Prepare by choosing the venue carefully. Try to do a trade so that it is not costly. You will advertise on your social media and bring people if they cover the food. Do not have an open bar. That will substantially lessen the cost. Potential readers can purchase their own cocktail if needed. Bring fellow authors to your signing. Have them scout the facility in case they may be interested in your product. Place your product on the correct shelf of a bookseller so that if readers do not want a signed copy, they can obtain yours. Provide opt-in emails as you should get everyone's email. 
Do a drawing for lunch with you to discuss the book, if you have to obtain business card emails that way. Set up a merchant account to accept payment. Have a lot of your books, but only put 10 or less on the table. It appears to everyone that they are selling quickly. Have a poster there that describes the book and tells a little about you. Smile. After the event is over a genuine thank you to the manager goes a long way. Sphere of influence is anyone you have ever met, spoken to, conversed over business, partied with, is in your family, or befriended. These people influence your life, and you theirs. They can be the biggest, what we call, mini explosions of publicity. If you can get these people to discuss your credibility to everyone they meet, these people can secretly help your success. Collect all the emails and phone numbers and begin compiling them into an app like MailChimp. There are all kinds of templates for constant contact. People may unsubscribe at will, and many can be added after the account is created. Building this foundation will be the largest return on investment you will have. Ask everyone for their email. Digital click funnel marketing is all the rage in Facebook. There are hundreds of online ads that promise a passive income. We caution you that this is an encumbering and time-consuming path. It can also be extremely expensive for the return on investment it promises. The idea is that you give away something for free, which we hear, do not believe is advantageous for the author. The free giveaway sends them to the landing page, where words bellow towards them promising better results as they click on more links. The more links they click, the more expensive the products. Before you commit to this kind of promotion, do your research. Do not be swayed by over-promising companies who can teach you. Each application has their own way of doing it, and they each have a book to show you how. YouTube is an incredibly handy platform that you can also monetize. Think about that. You will be creating buzz, and as long as you have 10 or more minute videos, you can monetize your efforts. You can use these videos for Instagram and transfer the MP3 to podcasting. We have an entire video on how to monetize your YouTube efforts. Please watch for that. Think about podcasting. Once you have done a YouTube video, all you need to do is change it to an MP3 format. When you do that you have two platforms for digital media with one action. Podbean is free to you. Buzzsprout is not free, but many podcasters like it better. Whatever the app you use, consider using it. It is a low-cost way to get you and other like-minded individuals discussing books like yours. If you sell a book in the iBook store, you will need to create a sample book for customers to preview before they purchase. iBooks authors can create a sample book based on one of your book's chapters. Or you can create a same yourself. If you offer a book for free, which we do not suggest, providing a sample book is optional. To get your book into Costco and retailer big box stores like Walmart, you need to research the companies that allow you to place your product on their online calendar. For example, Kobo is linked to Costco. When you send your product and pitch letter, it would be an added benefit if you already had an online account. More online sites means more potential sales in addition to more online presence for you. Make sure that you use the same hashtags throughout your postings online. That way if someone searches for any grouping of your hashtags, your book has a better chance of raising its exposure online. To establish some industry relationships, ideas for you are to host a read-in. That is an agreement between you and the restaurant. Most authors tell the manager they will bring the public if they are allowed to read a portion of their book and sell it to the public. The manager allows a poster to be displayed up to two weeks in advance to help sell the author's books, and the restaurant gets income from food and drink orders. You must make ordering food and beverages, not an option. 
Contact your local libraries and get in touch with the acquisitions librarian. If you live in a big state like Texas, which has over 600 public libraries, and you get $4 to $5 per book if they purchase through you, then that is a chuck of change you have just made. It probably covered the cost of your professional edit. Contact every local bookseller in your area. Introduce yourself as a local author and ask for a signing. Contact all local radio and podcast hosts to deliver your media kit to. Ask for an online interview. Connect with supporting online and in-person networks. Contact all your local television and media. Ask them for an interview. Contact other authors who might be in need of someone to share launch costs with for multiple launches. Contact festivals, fairs, contests. Create awareness by sending your book to contests or hosting one yourself. Guest blog, host a guest of your own, connect with everyone within the industry. Become a speaker. There are all kinds of sites online that can help you become a speaker. Our pro tip is to tape your content in 15-minute intervals. When you are done, put them all together for a one-hour keynote address. That is what you can send to potential clients. We have created an entire video of how to become a speaker. Please be sure to check out our instructional video once you are finished with this one. How to get on TV seems daunting, but is actually about perseverance. You do not need to hire a publicity firm. Pitch to a booking agent. Make them understand your message. You have already honed your message through your media kit. Send it to them. Brag about your past and future efforts. Tell them what you are planning on doing. Contact all radio and TV shows. Connect with supporting networks. Diligence will go a long way to successful media representation and interviews. Now that you have an interview and the producer said yes, now what? Call them as soon as possible and ask for a deadline to be on their show. Be as professional as you can be. Refrain from personal comments. Ask what the article or discussion should be about. Ask the interviewer to identify you as an author of your book. Make yourself available. Have your materials ready. Get reporters' credentials, name, email, etc. Ask the reporter or interviewer to ready any quotes you made back to you. Ask them to send you a clipping. Keep track of all of your interviews both digitally and on paper. Our pro tip is to ask for all of the information up front and write it down. Do not allow them to email it to you in case it gets lost in translation. You will have lost the interview if that happens. Send a handwritten thank you. Let them know if in a bind you would be available for another interview. The hardest thing for an introverted author to do is be part of their own financial success. The worst thing an author can do is not recognize that they will be the reason behind their success. Marketing takes wisdom and promotion takes action. We hope these ideas have inspired to you to new heights and ask that if you have ideas outside of ours, please feel free to share them with us. We have learned about affiliate marketing and will be putting together a video of that for our authors. Our goal is to provide as much information as we can to authors. Please share your thoughts below, click subscribe, and we will be in touch. Thank you for spending your precious time with us. Please consider joining thousands of other authors by becoming a site member of www.authorenterprise.com where you can view many helpful tips and tricks for authors. Make sure to sign up for one of our upcoming events and click to share this video on social media.